What's going on guys? We are, uh, it's Friday before uh, we're gonna go to the track tomorrow. The weather tomorrow looks absolutely epic. Um, it's supposed to be like a high of 60, sunny, not a chance of rain. DAs will probably be negative for the first time. Uh, definitely be the best conditions the cars ever ran in. Um, so I'll be there with my car obviously. Rick will be there with the, the F-150 that was in the last video, along with about 50 other really cool cars. It's a track rental with 50 cars at Milan. Uh, hopefully the prep's good, but uh, the weather's going to be perfect uh, to go fast. Uh, right now, it's actually Friday night. I'm just kind of going over the car. Um, I do this before uh, any time I go to the track. Just make sure I put my, my hands on anything important. Uh, you know, check the logs, make sure that the tires are good. Uh, you know, just go over all the basic stuff uh, that you don't want going wrong at the track. So, got uh, the belt fixed. Actually went down a size on the blower belt. Uh, so that's a little bit tighter now, uh, and then I replaced the other belt, and I also had to replace this, uh, this fitting was leaking uh, as well. But other than that, the car is back together. We'll get it down off the blocks here, uh, get underneath it and check a couple things that I checked before we go to the track, and uh, we'll pick back up tomorrow morning. All right, guys, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. We're getting loaded up here to head down. It's, uh, how cold is it right now? 37 degrees so uh, you can see it frosted a little bit last night um, but we're getting loaded up we're gonna head down to Milan should be a good day all right guys we are out at Milan it is a perfect day it's like uh, 53 degrees right now DA is probably negative um, cars off the trailer and Rick is uh, just pulling in over there so we uh, just tech the car we're gonna ice it down uh, I'll get up there and make the first hit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. step down and I'm just gonna go right back up there. second hit same thing it blew the tires up uh, it looks like the prep is just absolutely shit which is really a bummer because we paid a bunch of money for this track rental thinking that the prep was gonna be really good um, again this is why I hate coming to Milan this place sucks man um, yeah I don't think today's gonna be the day to run to run the number we're trying to run but yeah, it is what it is. We'll go help Rick now, let the car cool off, but really a bummer because uh, the temperature's there to go really fast, but the prep is just shit. I turned the two-step down as low as I've ever had it right there. Um, that was at 4,200. I normally leave, uh, you know, at like 47, 4,800, um, and it's still, as soon as, I, as soon as I let go of the clutch, it just blew the tires up, so really a bummer I don't know maybe they said they're gonna reprep at noon that's in a half hour maybe I'll try to get first in line after that and it'll be better but right now it's sucks so anyway we're gonna go help Rick we'll see if we can get the truck to go fast so we're getting uh, getting Rick's truck prepped up now So what what tunes in it? You have that the 800 or the 797? It was like 792 or whatever. Yeah.
really hooked. All right, well, if it doesn't stick here, I turn the two-step down as low as I've ever had it, aired the tires as low as I've ever had them, so uh, if it doesn't hook up here, we'll probably be done for the day. turn the two-step way down like that just not not a great pass I mean once it's rolling the car's moving out for sure but it sucks man it's it still hazed the tire it got up on the tire but I actually kind of feathered it for the first time usually I put it on the two-step just work it to the two-step and then basically dump it and mat it this time I kind of let the clutch slip a little bit and gave it a little, kind of came into the gas more progressive, but it still got up on the tire. It, it was right on the verge of, of spinning the tire. I'm gonna guess it went 1050 at 135 with like a 1760 foot. Thank you. Yep, 1060. It's too bad. I was really excited for today, man. 1-6 to the 60 foot. <laughs> Sucks. Whatever. It is what it is. I guess a bad day at the track is better than a good day sitting on the couch. What's going on, guys? It's uh, Sunday, the day after the, the epic fail day at the track. Uh, I wasn't even going to make a video of the track because it was so uh, so bad. And me and Rick both had struggled hard. Neither of us really made a full pass. But... Uh, I guess that's part of part of the game, so I'm still gonna make this video. Um, I was actually gonna go to Lapeer today um, and try to redeem ourselves up to the track that we know the prep's always good at, but unfortunately, it is raining um, today, so and it's cold. Um, I kind of looked at the time slips of the car, and the one pass that it did hook, it did spin in uh, hard in first, and it was hazing the tires in second, but it still only went 131 miles an hour, which is down uh, nine miles an hour from its best pass where it was at so kind of makes me think maybe the clutch was slipping too or uh because it was so cold uh the air was so good that maybe the car was knocking uh i didn't have the laptop with me yesterday so i didn't log it so i don't know and know that for a fact so what i'm gonna do this morning um i'm gonna throw the gopro on and i'm gonna actually put a new set of um Brisk spark plugs, plug for brisk. Uh, new set of plugs in uh, the car, and that way I can at least look at uh, the plugs that were in it and get an idea of, of if it was knocking. Um, those plugs are fairly new that are in it, so I should be able to should be able to see um, you know any indication if if it was knocking because the car never really never really detonates at all. So um, that's what we're gonna do this morning, and then. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> I've said this a couple times, but hopefully we're going to try to go back to the track next weekend. I can't end the season uh, like that. It just really sucked that that track day that they were letting um, street guys on street tires like pickup trucks um, use both lanes. Usually what a track will do is one lane will be guys on slicks and radials like my car and the other lane will be street tires um, just so the prep doesn't get messed up. But it was it was terrible. I mean... There's a reason Milan has, has a bad name and, uh, you know, they just, they don't run a good program up there and it is what it is, I guess. We, we knew that going up there, but we still went hoping it was going to be good. Unfortunately, it wasn't. So anyway, we're going to get the new plugs thrown in this thing and we'll go from there. This is just a, actually a grow light, a veg grow light that I uh, pulled one bar off. It's like these, uh, like this one up here. I pulled one bar off. Actually, it fits right in here. So if any of you Mustang guys want one of these, hit me up. I can help you help you out. It just makes such an awesome light for working under the hood. See everything. See what you're doing. It just locks right in there. So uh, we're gonna do the. I'm probably gonna do the driver's side first. So let's also come off. Mm -hmm.
I think to make my life easier, this is just coming off. I've been actually talking to VMP about swapping this twin 67 out for um, one of their new mono blades. Probably what we'll end up doing. Uh, all these extra wires that you guys are seeing, these are for the two step. So it's kind of spaghetti back there for sure. Um, that's all two step stuff. So these off, you don't want to break. These connectors, pain in the ass. I've broke one in my day. Not fun, for sure. Definitely try to keep these in the order that they come out in. Just. I don't know. It probably doesn't matter, but I'm weird like that. What I normally do is I like to put the plugs in front of the car. I just kind of draw a little thing like this so I, I can put them the way that they came out. So I know a hole they came out of basically. Now, for these plugs, you, I like to use a wobble, uh, a wobble extension for a couple of them. It just makes your life a little bit easier. Obviously, the front ones is obviously real, these are all really easy, but. One looks perfect. So if this is the, the front of the car, facing the front, right hand side, front plug. Be done with that. Like I said, we'll probably get out one more time this year and then we'll do all the put away maintenance. We gotta get the water out of the blower, switch in antifreeze, change oil, get the E85 out of it, put in. Uh, I store it with uh, ethanol free gas kind of the stuff they make for like snow blowers and lawnmowers but at least has no ethanol in it so it won't pull any that won't pull any water into your into the system basically your tea you can take all this stuff and throw it out for me bud Thank you, sir. This is just how I put on the antices. Keeps your hands clean and make sure it's in all the threads. So you can do whatever you want. That's how I do it.
Another thing I do is any tool I use when I'm working, I usually just leave it out. So before I'm done, I wipe all the tools off and put them back uh, where they go. So you can tell I'm a little anal about the toolbox, but that way at least I know everything is in there and it's clean. And I'll let the one last thing I gotta stress about. Okay, that's that. Let's just start it real quick, make sure everything's cool. See, pull the cover off the back so the exhaust isn't going through it. That's a wrap. That's how you do it, son. Hey guys, that's uh, all the plugs look really good. Um, everyone looks the same. Nothing, there was definitely no interference anywhere. Um, no oil on anything. The gaps were all money. Timing marks were all fine. So um, that's all a good sign. So we swapped out um, these NGKs that I've been running for a while. Um, to these new brisk spark plugs uh that, which will be in the car from here moving forward so yeah hopefully we'll get uh one more time at the track before the end of the year so uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share this video like it if you do and uh thanks for watching guys peace